Okay, so hello everyone who might be watching this. This is uh, Super Mario Bros. X 2.0. There was a Super Mario Bros. X originally, and it's a, basically a fan-made Mario-ish game, as you can probably tell, but it was out of development for a while for reasons, and since then it has finally been updated just recently due to the work of a bunch of people, and uh, so they've added a whole bunch of cool new stuff, including this. This is the Mario Challenge. It's kind of an uh, attempt to mimic and in a lot of ways improve on Mario Maker's 100 Mario Challenge. And see, these characters over here are all the ones added for Super Mario Bros. X 2.0. Not 100% sure what hitting these boxes does yet, because I'm going to do that later, probably. And here are the original characters that were in Smobax or Super Mario Bros. X. So this is a costume changer, so now we can change to a lot of characters, including Demo here, who is a Talkhouse character uh, based off a character made by Raukow, for anyone who's not from that area. I have no idea what this is. This is... I recognize this version of Mario from Super Mario Bros. Crossover, but I don't know what game he's from. And good old Super Mario World Mario, and we've got Horikawa, one of the people who worked on this project. And back to Mario. I'm gonna switch to uh, Super Mario World Mario right now because I'm kinda used to him. What do you have to say, Toad? This is the area to change basic settings, good for that. So this allows us to change the number of stages we're gonna play in the Mario Challenge. I'll leave it at 5, I think, for the moment. Lives. Let's, uh,. We'll change that to 5 because it's bothering my OCD. And the third one is rerolls, which basically means that you can reselect a stage. Like, like you can retry and uh, pick a new stage. I'm sure, most people could have figured that out by themselves, but I'm just going to leave them at 5. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that none of the stages are going to be incompletable with Mario because he's kind of like the standard, but reset to defaults, no. So here's a bunch of other options. Mirror mode. This is cool. I probably wouldn't have thought of that myself. Rinka mode, which is, uh, which I'll admit I don't think I'll find it unfun to play at some point, but <laughs> I'll leave it off, obviously, for now. I just... Hurry up mode. This sounds pretty fun, actually. Speed running, that sort of thing. Slippery mode. This seems really annoying. <laughs> I'm sure someone will love it, but <laughs> not me. Shuffle mode. I was thinking, even before I turned it on, I really hope they've got a way to uh, shuffle which characters you use before you enter the level. Uh, so I'm assuming that's what this does, and that, so, it's almost like they read my mind on that one. And one hit KO mode, which sounds not fun at all. It sounds more really annoying, but... So, I can choose my power-ups and whatnot, but let's not do that. And you might be thinking, wow, you're going to play this with Mario, with all those new characters out there, but you know what, the, the challenge itself, I think, the Mario challenge itself, I think, is uh, probably worthy of me just devoting some time specifically to it, as opposed to one of the characters as well. So, I'm going to do the first run with Mario, I'll probably skip those four guys, those four old fogies, but let's get started. So, this can basically pull levels from any of the games you have installed, which right now is pretty much just the defaults for me, because I haven't installed anything else, but I've been waiting in line forever. Uh, now, I've played a lot of these, uh, like, things like the Evasion 2 and whatnot, but not for a while, and they aren't particularly standout levels, so I'm not going to remember them compared to some of the other stuff, so I I'm not going to remember them probably as well. But, I think I... Yeah. Let me out! Let me out! Eh, it's like that uh, place from Super Monkey Ball Adventure. You tricked us, there's monsters everywhere. So, wow, I managed to die to the first bat. Great work, me. Hey, uh, that was just to show off this uh, counter. This thing that pops down when you die. Let's hope I'll start sucking a little bit less. <laughs> die. So this is pretty standard bullet shooting level. I'm not really a fan of these levels to be honest. It's very rare that I find them all that interesting, but it's basically just you, you grab the bullet cannon and you shoot some things. That's not my cup of tea, but so 
This is mostly vertical level, not too hard. Except for that guy who almost decided to be in like the one spot where I couldn't deal with him. Oh, well, if I had have actually expected that there would be two mushrooms in there, I could have uh, gotten probably a better power up, but I don't really expect two mushrooms from the same set of blocks. That's just something people don't do normally. Even though there's... Whoa. That was almost extra stupid, but... Alright, I don't care about rings. Especially since they're rings. I mean, seriously, I'm a Mario character. I don't need those. Hello, Rex. Hello, Rex eggs. Do Rexes lay eggs? Well, I assume they would because they're dinosaurs, so I guess that makes some amount of sense. Midpoint. I worked so hard to get that midpoint. Uh, okay. Die, die. Everybody dies. I I was kind of lazy there and didn't wait around for a very good opportunity. That could have bit me in the butt, but it didn't because this is, you know, just a bullet shooting level. I'm interested to see how this pans out when I put other levels in here, like... More... Larger hacks, like, say, one of the Maggles or something, I'm assuming would work. Larger hacks! I said hacks, um... They're obviously not hacks, but I'm so used to calling things hacks. Goodbye. And let's just get past those guys. Oh no, four Mega Moles this time. That's impossible. Okay, that's the end. And that lonely fireball will go on forever. Well, I guess it won't be lonely if Mario follows it. So, on to level two, which could be from something completely different. And I said something, and kept it deliberately vague, so I wouldn't say hacks again. Return to Dinosaur Land 1, and power up right at the start, just in case I need a power up to get past all these uh, rexes and piranha plants that are so dangerous. Ah, apparently I do need the power up to get past all the rexes and piranha plants. And die, die. Yeah, you can live. I'm too lazy to kill you. You take two whole hits to kill, that's... Oh, it's a secret. Thank goodness I got this, uh, dragon coin. I'm interested to see in some of how some of the other players, other characters play on stages like this, uh, that are just kind of like romps. I'm thinking some of the stages more tightly constructed with Mario ca capabilities in mind are more likely to cause problems in terms of, not like glitches or anything, just level design that characters they didn't expect to exist wouldn't be able to get past. So, I'm wondering how often that's going to occur, and... Oh, for a second there I was weirded out by that. It just felt like it was taking a moment too long. For a second this is reminding me of the Megalax 2 level that has a lot of stuff, but has a lot of stuff I'm sure that brought every brought an image to everyone's mind of what exactly what that level was. So I remember this level being a bit of a maze, I think. I wonder how secret exits work in this uh I'm assuming that you can just get either the normal exit or the secret exit in these levels, and it will work the same way, but I'm not 100% sure. If so, that's gonna ruin the occasional uh, you have to avoid the goal level. <laughs> if it's something like, uh, what's it called, get the normal exit from jump. Because <laughs> you can just get the secret exit and no problem. I'm not even sure why I'm carrying this power around. You can have it. Oh yeah, there's stuff out of bounds down there and all over the place. I don't remember it though, and I probably don't need to to finish the level, so I'm not going to bother. I don't want to somehow get stuck or something. Good work me, falling off the platform. You can die, you can die. Murder's the most fun thing about Mario. And, okay, now I've got to go out of bounds over here. This level's kind of a maze. I don't want to go over there. I I don't like the idea of possibly just falling down an unseen hole somewhere. Flower. 
For a second I thought I got hit there, but <laughs> the pipe makes the same noise. Whoa, gotta be careful here, gotta go fast, gotta be Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, they give all these blocks for ammo, but it's kind of not necessary when I've got the fireball, unless there's a secret behind it or something, but yeah, there isn't. That is Rube Goldbergish way of killing him. Is, it, is the block missing here? Does that indicate a secret or something? I don't think so. So yeah, maybe before I do some of the other ones, I'll put in some extra levels from other things because I... Uh, I mean, this level's a little bit more interesting than the last one, but it's still not as interesting as, say, Mega levels or A2XT levels, if you if I can even put those in there, I don't really know. I honestly have no clue if I'm still going in the right direction. Well, okay, that wasn't right. So let's try going left this time, see if that is a better option. Oh yeah, there seems to be a bit of a level over here. This level is just really strange. Oh, I missed. I missed again. Ah, it's your lucky day, you can live. Okay, I, I made it to a place. Let's not give your bullets a chance to pile up on me here. Birdo is the most difficult boss in the existence, but... Look at my fireball. Look at it go! Okay, that's two levels done. Warp 3! Oh. <laughs> okay! Yeah, I forgot that... I guess that it would make sense that that would be a thing. Wow, how did he s survive that? Um, I was w worried that the other one would fall on my head for some reason, even though Blue Koopas don't do that. And I think this level is lagging up my recording a little. My computer isn't exactly Hercules, so... Here we go. Die. Whoa! I messed up. Tried to do a cool slidey thing and it didn't work at all. There we go, that's better. So yeah, this... I guess, appropriately from the title, it's very reminiscent of Cookie Mountain from Super Mario World. Whoops! I, I almost had issues with momentum there, and that guy almost killed me. <laughs> Wait, we're... Okay, these are ninjis. I was wondering for a second, were these added? But that I thought that wouldn't make any sense, because I'm pretty sure this is a pre-made level. And I bet, guess I better not hit that guy from underneath, because he's a lack of two. Oh, well, that's safety. I'm not 100% sure if he's uh, just a respreaded lack of two, or if he's got... That platform attached to layers, and I can actually kill him with it. Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Whoa, okay. That's not quite the behavior I was expecting. I wasn't expecting him to move forward, even though I, I suppose there wasn't anything that I should have expected, considering I didn't know what. Considering that's not default Smith X behavior anyway. Yeah, as long as I remember that these guys jump every time they get to the edge, and stop just trying to go forward all willy-nilly, they're not too bad. And midpoint. At least this level has a little bit more gameplay than the other ones in terms of actually being at least a little bit difficult. Whoops, I fell off, but thankfully 
all they do is give this trap full of piranha plants instead of uh, killing you, so that's generous. And I, there's a leaf! Get the leaf, Mario! That's very useful. Though it's weird seeing uh, Smoo Mario with a uh, tail and ears, but... <laughs> Gotta be really careful with these uh, moving things in Smivex because they're very ungenerous. That one tile gap is almost impossible to fall down, so I'm not even 100% sure why it's there, but. You'd have to actually put effort into falling down that thing. Unless there's like some sort of hidden secret down there or something, but I doubt that very heavily. Eh, not gonna chance that one because can't be too cautious with these. Dang it! <laughs> also, making exactly the, the wrong, exactly the highest amount height jump in Spivex is kind of weird sometimes. Eh, I missed even with the tail. Whatever. I probably didn't have all the other ones anyway, so I don't really care. Besides, it's not like I really need the lives. Oh, maybe this is a uh, custom uh, with the new 2.0 features because that is definitely new. So I don't know, maybe the Monty Moles were uh, not just respreaded ninjis. I'm not 100% sure now. Wait, there's no ninjis in this either, is there? Well, I guess it would make sense that they're not respited ninjis then, I think. Or, oh yeah, there are. Sometimes I can't remember <laughs> which which things are native to Smibex or not. Because uh, I know a lot of the uh, new enemies and whatnot are fairly transparent, like, in terms of gameplay. Like, you wouldn't even notice that they're added on by 2.0. It's kind of hard to tell because it's pretty well done. And yeah, see there's a ninja right there. What was I thinking? 